And that leads us to Joe McKenna, the warning coordination meteorologist at NOAA in Mount Holly. Uh, Joe, first of all, uh, all these people seem to be surprised by the storm. Were you? Uh, we were a little bit surprised by the amount and uh, the fact that it was so concentrated in, uh, in such a small band. We knew the snow was going to be coming. We knew there was going to be a changeover, but, uh, but the high amounts were, were a little bit of a surprise. And the fact that, I mean, the state seems to be kind of split in two. Uh, the southern part of the state getting all that snow. The northern part, you could have had a Rangers or Devils hockey game on the streets this morning. Yeah, that's cr I mean, there's very little snow up north. I mean, there was some changeover to freezing rain uh, during the late overnight hours as we were forecasting. But, uh, but you're correct. I mean, the heaviest snow actually fell in the south. Are we to deduce anything from this storm hitting this way at this time of year uh, about the rest of the way winter is going to look for us? Uh, no, I don't think there's any foretelling uh, of what will happen uh, for the rest of the winter based on this past storm, although we have another storm coming tomorrow, and uh, we do think that the heaviest snow bands are going to kind of set up almost in the same area that they set up on yesterday and last night. So um, sometimes uh, weather patterns do have a memory uh, but we just don't think that this is going to be a long-term memory that's going to extend through the wintertime. So could parts of the, the southern part of the state get nine inches again? Uh, we're not looking at nine inches. I, I think what we're thinking is maybe three to five. Um, uh, so we're not looking. The, the, the system that's coming in tomorrow just doesn't have a, as much moisture to work with. So it, there's an upper limit to how much snow can actually fall. So we're not looking at uh, high totals like that, but we are looking for the highest of the snowfall amounts to be in the south and very possibly very near uh, where it happened uh, yesterday. All right, Joe. We appreciate the warning. Joe McKenna at Nolan. Thank you. Sure.